Hey reader friends, this story is called The Gingerbread Pup. It was rewritten from the story The Gingerbread Man by Mary Beth Bolts. She just changed the story and gave it a pup theme instead. It was illustrated by Holly Hibbert. This book was published by Random House in 2020. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Evelina. Evelina lived all alone. She tended her sheep, but her sheep did not want to be tended. They jumped the fence. Come back! They hid in the woods. Where are you? They ran through the village. Come back here! Evelina spent her days chasing sheep. Oh, how I would love to have a dog, said Evelina. We could be best friends. We could tend the sheep together. One day, Evelina made gingerbread cookies. Hmm, no gingerbread boy for me, she said. I will make a gingerbread pup instead. Evelina cut out a gingerbread pup. She baked it in the oven. The yummy smell filled the house. Evelina opened the oven to check on the gingerbread pup. The gingerbread pup sprang to life. It popped out of the oven. Yip, 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 barked the gingerbread pup. <laughs> the gingerbread pup spun in circles. It jumped on the furniture. Then it raced out the door. Stop, called Evelina. But the gingerbread pup did not stop. The gingerbread pup found the sheep. Oh, but it chased them right into the mud. Bah, said the sheep. Oh no, cried Evelina. The gingerbread pup raced through the village. That pup stole my hat. That pup broke my eggs. Soon, all the villagers were in on the chase. The gingerbread pup came to a river. How would it get across? Hmm. The gingerbread pup saw a shaggy dog by the river bank. Give me a ride across the river, dog, said the gingerbread pup. The gingerbread pup climbed on the shaggy dog's tail. The shaggy dog waded into the river. He began to paddle. The gingerbread pup teased the crowd. Na, 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 boo, boo. Ruff. You are going to get wet, said the shaggy dog. Climb on my back. The gingerbread pup climbed on the shaggy dog's back. The water grew deeper. Better move to my head, said the shaggy dog. The gingerbread pup climbed on the shaggy dog's head. Then it slid down to the tip of his nose. Whee! said the gingerbread pup. Mmm. <laughs> the shaggy dog's whiskers twitched. The shaggy dog's belly growled. He was so hungry. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Hmm. Evelina gasped. <gasps> the villagers gasped too. <gasps> they all knew the story of the gingerbread boy who gets eaten by the fox. The gingerbread pup is a goner, said Evelina. But the shaggy dog kept paddling. He didn't play mean tricks like the fox in the story. Does that shaggy dog belong to anyone? 
asked Evelina. A man shrugged. He's a stray. Stray means a dog that doesn't belong to anyone, right? The shaggy dog carried the gingerbread pup across the river. He jumped onto the shore. Evelina scooped up the gingerbread pup. You're coming home with me, gingerbread pup, said Evelina. Then Evelina petted the shaggy dog. Thank you, she said. The shaggy dog wagged his tail and licked Evelina's hand. Evelina looked into his big brown eyes. She smiled. Would, would you like to come home with us? asked Evelina. Ruff, 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 barked the shaggy dog. Evelina laughed. I'll name you Ruffles, she said. Ruff. At home, the gingerbread pup got into every kind of trouble. It scattered the sheep. It yipped and yapped. It escaped out the window. What can we do about the gingerbread pup? said Evelina. Ruffles brought Evelina a cookie cutter. You want me to make a gingerbread boy? asked Evelina. <clears throat> Ruff, said Ruffles. Evelina made a gingerbread boy and slid it into the oven. A few minutes later, Evelina opened the oven. The gingerbread boy sprang to life. Out of the house he ran. Catch me if you can, said the gingerbread boy. Yip, 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 barked the gingerbread pup and raced after him. Now they both got someone to play with. From that day on, Evelina, Ruffles, and the sheep lived happily ever after. The gingerbread pup and the gingerbread boy lived happily ever after, too. The end. Oh, I like that. That was a great story. Hope you enjoyed it too.